Hey, what is up YouTube? I bet you clicked on my video because you want to play Melee with your friends across the continent or maybe you're just too lazy to go to your friend's house and you want to play online. Either way, I'm here to help you out. First off, there's a few things you're going to need, so let's get started. You're going to want to pick up a GameCube controller adapter. Make sure it says Mayflash adapter. This is going to be the most streamlined approach and they're generally one of the cheaper options you have available. But make sure you have this in Wii U mode. That's very important. Next thing you want to pick up is a GameCube controller. Make sure, absolutely certain, that this is a first party GameCube controller. I don't want your heart broken when your controller lasts just a few weeks or maybe a month tops. So stay away from these guys. Amazon's choice is terrible. Um, even this one, even though it says Power A and it has a Nintendo seal, um, not only is that the, the wrong uh, adapter there, it's not going to last that long either. I typically see the thumb caps fall right off of these suckers. Uh, there's another one, this is a little bit more money. Um, you can also go to your local Goodwill, um, pick up one of the, the older kinds, those also work amazing, as long as they're in decent shape. Or uh, your local Smash Team might have a spare or something that they could uh, give you or sell you at a reasonable price. So once you have everything that you need, go ahead and head to slippy.gg. Link is in the description for that. Uh, scroll down, hit this little arrow, make sure you're downloading for Windows. Uh, this tutorial is solely for Windows computers. If you need some help with a Mac, I have a link in the description to help you out. So click this bad boy. This will download for you here. I'll see you after the download. Okay, awesome. Should only take a few seconds. Once that starts flashing at you, hit this cute little arrow right here. Click show in folder. This is going to save you an extra step because it'll open up the file directly right away for you. Okay. So there it is right up top there. Um, you can go ahead and double click that sucker. It's going to say Windows protected your PC. <clears throat> more likely than not. That's no problem. Just hit more info and it'll tell you what the file is. And you can hit run anyway. Hit yes on the next screen. And then if you don't care about the file directory, just go ahead and hit next. Then click also install GameCube adapter drivers and hit install. Shouldn't take long at all. All right, and once that's downloaded, go ahead and click finish. <laughs> and it should bring you into here and it says, let's get set up. So the first thing it's going to ask you to do is um, make your own login. Uh, if you already have a login somehow, I don't know why you'd be here if you already do, but go ahead and click create account if you don't have one already. Oh, and make sure you stay to the end of the video. I'll have some tips for those of you with lower end PCs on how to run Melee on basically anything. And once you've made your account, you can drag and drop your Melee NTSC.ISO right in here. Make sure it's 1.02. So I went ahead and downloaded Super Smash Brothers Melee onto my desktop. And if you'll notice, it says .7z. So when you first get the file, sometimes it'll be a .7z, um, or it'll have some some prefix like a .zip or something like that. So just go ahead and uh, right-click there and scroll down to 7-zip, or if you have WinRAR, it'll say WinRAR. Go ahead and hit Extract here. And this will take just a few seconds uh, while that's working. I'm actually unable to tell you where to get your Melee ISO. If you have no friends, um, just uh, try Google. See what you find. Okay, it looks like that is extracted. And you notice it appears twice on my desktop here. Now, even though the names look the same, it's, they're two different files. So if you click on it, it'll reveal the full title. Um, some sites that you download it from will have a longer um, 
longer ending there. Just go ahead and click it and you can see the full name. So we want the .iso file. Okay, and we're going to click and drag it in the center there. Now, you'll notice it says provided ISO will not work with Slippy Online, please provide a 1.02 ISO. But we also double checked and made sure that's a 1.02, so it should probably work. Go ahead and hit continue. Okay, um, it should have you already signed in since you already made your profile, unless you hit skip, but you can always just do that at this screen. Um, it'll show you how to do that there. Uh, next, there's a couple settings that you want to make sure you click. So make sure uh, if it says launch melee, you want to make sure it says launch dolphin. And um, we also need to make a folder for our replays. So go ahead and right click on blank space on your, desk, your desktop. Go down to new and hit a folder and name this one melee or whatever you want really just so you remember what it is so i'm actually going to click and drag my melee iso in here and i want this to match so right now it's looking on my desktop which would be okay except um, it'd be more convenient if we just had it read from the folder so open up the folder that you intend to run the game from um, from your melee folder Highlight the game like I did so it's blue. Hit open. You notice the directory changed and it's verifying again to make sure that's the same ISO. So that's all good. Now you're gonna go to replays. Now this is gonna save you huge. You don't want to finish a two hour session and your whole desktop is flooded with all of your replay files. So go ahead and choose the same folder again. So we're gonna go to desktop, we're gonna go to melee and hit select folder. Boom, we are in the right spot. Yeah, so it says desktop slash melee, melee being our folder. So we're good to go. Um, this is kind of hidden, I'm not sure why, but just make sure you're, you hit this X. This will get you back to the home screen. Okay, so from this point on, we are actually good to go and we can play melee right away. Um, you select the game and you hit play. Now there's a couple things wrong with it. First we want it to be widescreen and then we want to make sure it covers the entirety of the screen because no one's trying to play in a screen that small. So um, how you fix that is, I'm going to close that out of the way just so it um, doesn't get in the way. Right click uh, melee where it's highlighted and um, you can set as default ISO but we don't mess with that at the moment. Go ahead and go to properties go to gecko codes and make sure that optional widescreen is selected. Um, sometimes it's not when you download it. So just make sure that that's what it's, that's what the default is. Okay. So then you can hit play and then you can hit full screen here. And boom, you are in there. You're already playing Super Smash Brothers Melee. You can hit A to go into unranked, um, pick your favorite character, and play some games. Um, the cool thing about getting into Slippy now is uh, we are implementing, or Fizzy, not me, are implementing uh, MMR. So what that means is you're not just playing randos, you're playing randos that are around your skill level. Alright guys, we are almost at the end of the video, so if you like seeing tutorials like this or you want to see some more Kirby Melee content or gameplay, go ahead and hit me with a like and a subscribe. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash guy who plays space. There's a link in the description below for that. Alright, so the secret trick to running Melee on just about any computer is going to be a mod for the game called Diet Melee. So link in the description down below for that. 
go to diet.melee.tv and it'll take you to this page. You can get an idea of what kind of mod you want to run for your, uh, your melee that will run better on lower end PCs. Uh, my favorite is Crystal Melee, so I think I'll pick that one. We're going to go to Download and hit Diet Melee Offline Patcher. And this will take actually a quite a while to download, maybe five to seven minutes actually, and I have decent internet. So once that downloads, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so when that's finally downloaded, go ahead and hit that little tiny arrow and hit show in folder. That's gonna take you to your downloads folder up at the top. All right, so now that that's highlighted, I'm going to right click it and click cut. Go back to desktop, find our melee folder. This is just gonna keep everything in the same spot for you. Make it super simple. I right clicked in the blank space here and clicked paste. And you'll see this folder with a little zipper on it. And just like we did with our melee ISO um, from the beginning of the video, you're going to right click it and then go over to 7-zip or WinRAR, if that's the file you have downloaded, and click extract here. Okay, it should take no time at all. Now double click this guy and it'll show this be beautiful user interface here. So go ahead and drag and drop your Melee ISO in here and then click uh, the favorite mod of your choice and click patch ISO. Should also take no time at all. But where did the file go? It actually went back in the same folder that the patcher's in. So there it is. And you're already ready to go. So when you open up uh, Dolphin from Slippy Launcher, uh, that will uh, populate Crystal Melee. I can show that to you. See, it's right up top there. And you can also just play regular Melee if you want. So let's give this a shot here. Boots just like normal, go ahead and hit full screen. Um, I'm going to press B and just go to like a single player mode, like training. So that's what the character select screen looks like. It seems like they paid a little more attention to the top tiers, like Fox looks amazing. They even mapped his eyes to like give him a more iconic appearance. But a lot of the rest of the cast are just kind of smudges, like Pichu. Like, that's literally just yellow. Um, a curious thing about Kirby. Is his hats are still just like in Melee. So a lot of times is a forgotten feature in mods. But everything works the same, and it should run a lot quicker on your, your PC if you're having trouble with that before. Okay, so give that a try. It should run way faster on your computer. And that's how you're going to be able to play Melee on just about anything. Hi guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Any support I see is huge because I am a smaller channel. If you want to come hang out and watch me on Twitch for any some more Smash Bros content, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7pm to 11pm. Bye.